hair club for men. To Marge Simpson. To Parker Lewis. song. Finally, the first morning of the first day of the first week of summer, and I am ready. All bets are off, all systems are go, all energy is focused. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after an entire school year of doing everything I was told, sort of, it's time to live my own personal Nike commercial. Time to just do it. I'll just take the stairs. World class. Absolutely, positively, world class. Our goddess. Gentlemen, I have news that will change the course of human events, and perhaps even my summer. Guys, this is my summer of spontaneity. Yay. And to that end, I have made a three-point list. Number three. Lose the Gumby hairdo. Achieved. Number two, find a rule and break it. Mm -hmm. And number one. All right, you look great. Spend the night with Annie. It's great, Park. Didn't you hear what I said? I'm changing my life. I'm cutting loose. I am Danger Man. Yeah, it's great. Go for it. Hey, I got the haircut. And we're proud of you. You'll always be able to look back on this as the summer you cut your hair. Jer, help me out here. Don't you think I can change? I prefer not to think about it, sir. Change makes me nauseous. Thank God it wasn't alive when they switched Darren's on Bewitched. This is a municipal pool. There will be no cursing, shaving, mucus, open sores, earwax, catastrophes, chocolate, blood, and above all, no Batman Returns paraphernalia of any kind. Oh, jeez. Coach Hank Kohler, civil service lifer. Too heartless for the unemployment office, too irritating for the DMV, too slow for the post office, but just right for his new assistant. Eat now? Lunch at 10.35 a.m. Good civil service thinking, Kubiak. But let's talk equipment. This chrome-plated baby can last a lifetime of lunch times. Paper bags are wasteful. Kube not wasteful. Kube used the same bag for seven years. <laughs> oh. The guys can't tell me I don't know how to cut loose. I've got a list. And the number one thing on my list? Spend the night with Annie. Ah, Annie, I can see it in her eyes. We are of one heart. This is that magic moment when a man knows exactly what's on a woman's mind. Oh my God, what did you do to your hair? You don't like it? Well, it's just that it's a total surprise. You never gave me any warning. Well, I figured, why ask why? Life is short, play hard, just do it. But you always ask why, you never play hard. And when was the last time you just did it? Have you been talking to Mikey? Huh? Never mind. This isn't about my hair. It's about... Ow! Rebecca, you're cutting off Julian's circulation. Hun, they're on the move. Catch me later. Krista! Krista! Good 
Godiva. I've seen a vision. Stretch, baby, stretch, baby. Baby, baby, stretch. World class. Utterly, supremely, completely, fabulously, stunningly, positively world class. Hi, I'm Mikey Randall. Oh, these? Binoculars. No, I don't normally use them, but you're just so far away. Could we get a little closer? Like married? Ach, Tung, baby. I have seen the future. Just be in the moment, sir. Pretend I'm not here. Careful, Jer, that might be loaded. Droll, sir. I'll have you know this park is offering a documentary film class. This could be my ticket out of here. Have I told you lately how delighted I am now that you've entered your Spike Lee phase? Mr. Spike and I are big supporters of Malcolm 10. Can we do this later? I am in no mood. Relax, homeboy. The camera's an impartial observer. It does not judge, it merely documents. And then it goes away. <laughs> What is it about summer that makes you feel like you're going around in circles, passing time, doing nothing? What's this? A cherry bomb? No littering, loitering, horseplay, camping, and especially no fireworks. I'll take that as a sign. Time to test the Big Bang Theory. Guess I made a little noise. Guess I finally woke up this sleepy little town. Total summer coolness. I think. Uh-huh, sure. Have a little summer fun. Change your look. Go all the way. Break a rule. Looks like I left something off my list. the night with me? Yes. Oh, yes. I love summer. This morning, my summer seemed about as promising as a blind date with Sean Young. But all it took was one little kiss and one big yes from Annie to turn it all around. That's the good news. But the bad news is, I don't know if Brad's still holding a grudge. Ah, uh, and tonight, 
Annie and I will express our eternal love in the most beautiful and timeless way two people can share. He wants to use you like a wet nap and throw you away. Krista, would you drop the all men are Satan thing? Parker loves me. I can depend on him. And why do you think good old dependable Parker just changed his look? Fifteen reasons why your guy's new haircut means he's on the prowl? Honey, Parker suffers from TGS. TGS? Typical guy syndrome, just like Carl. Carl! Yeah, babe? You love me. You want the words? Mm hmm You know all I really want is you. And not in the now kind of way, but in the forever kind of way. Be my forever girl. Oh, that is so sweet. Wait. Come on, baby. Let's go to my place. We can take a look at Little Man Tate. I've already seen that movie, Carl. <sighs> this ends our little demonstration for today. You check the tennis courts? No sign of her. Bleachers? Nada. I tell you, Park, I've looked everywhere. She's nowhere. It's like she left the planet. The woman does not exist. She's got to be like a million miles away. Oh. Musso, come. Musso. Musso, Musso, Musso. Fix me up, fix me up. How do I look? Like a young John Candy. Thanks, cool. You better go out the window. Okie dokie. Oh, I found this in my yard, and I was wondering whoever could this belong to? <gasps> Where's the sun season glove bursting coach Donnelly? At last. The 40 but fertile as a National Geographic tribeswoman, Grace Musso. Call me Hank. No. Just by looking at you, I can tell you a woman of depth, philosophy, and sophistication. Just by looking at you, I can tell you're a man who sweats heavily. Feisty. Are you deaf? I said no. N-O. I will not be in your stupid movie. Please, Shelly, please, Shelly. Shelly, Shelly, please. Ugh. Forget it, Jer. You mean Parker here? Uh-huh. I can capture it all. The boy, the girl, the summer, the list. What list? What list? What list? What list? Jerry, <laughs> spill your guts. I've proven time and again that I can take you. It's a good list, and you're the first thing on it. I'm destined to find her. I'm in total surveillance mode. Her eyes, her hair, the way she walks, it's burned in. No way she gets by me. Excuse me. Not a problem. It's just a question of time. Well, wish me duck. Quack. Hi, Jer. Hey, it wasn't me. Ah, look at her. Did I mention that I love Summer? Hiya, Ben. So, how's your summer going? Well, it's just the first day, but I'm cautiously optimistic. Everything going according to plan? What's wrong? Did I do something? Not yet, and you're not going to. I don't know what's going on here, but maybe I should kill Jerry just on general principle. What's the matter? Does the word list ring a bell? I definitely have to kill Jerry. <sighs> Look, that was just you know, a list of my most important things that I want to accomplish this summer. And I'm just one of those things to do? No, you're my number one thing to You're my number one. And what's number two, dumping me? No, Annie, I... You are so TGS. No, I am not. What's TGS? Forget it. <sighs> Annie, you're looking at this in the total wrong way. No, I'm seeing it very clearly. Babe, you want the words? You know all I really want is you. And not in a now way, but in a forever kind of way. Be my forever girl. It's true, guys only want one thing. Annie. I said forget it. Why do women think guys only want one thing? I'm a guy, I don't want one thing. I want six things. Chest hair, widescreen TV, X-ray vision, my own island, Tickets to the World Series, and Annie. I guess there's some things a guy will never understand, like girls. 
I'm gonna kill you. It seemed like Annie and I were getting as close as two people could possibly get. And then she gives me the big blow off. Did I mention I was gonna kill you? I mean, I'm not a bad guy. I thought she wanted this as much as I did. Remind me to kill you. Cut, cut, cut. You're all over the place. You gotta chill, Holmes. This kind of melodrama just doesn't sell on television. I can't believe Annie thinks I'm just like all the other guys. That I only want one thing. To use her, dump her, and then tell Mikey all the details. Mikey? Maybe I do only want one thing. For Annie to know how much I love her. I just need to find a way to tell her. Wasn't I supposed to kill you? Uh, maybe later, bro, sir. This merry-go-round thing is giving me a teacups flashback. I'm telling you, I was this close to meeting her. Another minute and we're talking fantasy fulfillment. I have seen the future. And not adolescent fantasy, but real mature adult fantasy. Hmm? I mean, this is the girl in my dreams. Crush him! Crush him! Crush him! Crush him! Come on, crush him! All right, slice him. Slice him. Hello. This isn't what it seems. This is what it is. I'm locked out of my house. It's cool, you guys. Brian Spicer assured me that none of the ponies actually got hurt doing that lovely uh, skydiving sequence we just looked at. Anyway, next man up is my man, Jerry Denzel Steiner. Is what we do, so put your toys away. We want to play with you. We're beginning to mine up to a higher conscience, a piece of quality wisdom, but not just carefully walking the plank. Of Uncle Sam, no, stand up and fight. Don't say you don't give a damn, slam it in the face. Me up some leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I got her over, I got her under my spell. Yo, listen to me, you gotta stay in school. Yo, follow me, you gotta keep it cool. Don't be a fool. Some may say it wasn't meant to be, but when two souls were meant to be one, they must fulfill their fate. Did you ever meet a girl and something about her just... Tells you that you were meant for each other? I can't believe Annie thinks I'm just like all the other guys. Maybe I do only want one thing. I need to know how much I love her. I just need to find a way to tell her. I just need to find a way to tell her. I just need to find a way to tell her. Wasn't I supposed to kill you? Maybe later, bro, sir. This merry-go-round thing's giving me a teacups flashback. Okay, all new three-point plan. No more girlfriends, obey all rules, stop making lists. Hi, baby. Hey. Hey. I only want one thing, too. What's that? To kill Jerry. We okay? No, oh, Parker. We're so okay, it's scary. I only acted like the girlfriend from hell because I was afraid of you changing into some other guy who wanted some other girl. Same guy, different haircut. I know. I just felt a little insecure. You want me to go back to my old haircut? Not that insecure. <laughs> Yes, may I have the number for the Granada Inn, please? 
Sorry about the screen door, Grace. Sorry about the bathroom window. Sorry about the chimney. Sorry about the cat door and the cat. But that is one tough lock. Hey, look on the bright side. I have a newly repaneled rumpus room. <laughs> I wouldn't stay with you if you were the last three men on earth. Pithy. I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is I have to go home now. The good news is my parents won't be there. Combine an hour? Five minutes. Half hour? Four minutes. Hey, Jer, wait up. Cool movie. Thanks. Stupid cap. Ah, the first day of the first week of summer. And right when things were at their lowest point, love poked its way through all the trouble and said, Parker Lewis, today's the day you get lucky. <coughs> ah, summer. Randall? Mr. Phillips? Hello? 